Racing in the 1977 Inter Dominion final, and uh, Trusty Scott has gone sideways and collected sole command at the start. Conmara Chief very slow, and the best out, Stanley Rio, Sporting Sun being shaken up to go to the lead, followed by Master Finley, Conmara Chief, Paleface Adios away well, followed then by Don't Retreat, Trusty Scott, and Sole Command and Pure Steel at the tail of the field. They settle down now and Sporting Sun has reached the lead. By about two lengths, Stanley Rio gets the trail. Master Finley in third place. Three lengths to Conborough Chief. Paleface Adios out facing the wind the outside. Don't retreat the inner followed by Trusty Scott. Two lengths, Soul Command and Pure Steel. They make their way down the back in the grand final and Sporting Sun the leader. By a length and a half, Stanley Rio in a nice spot in the trail. Followed by Master Finley, Conmurra Chief. Paleface Adios has to face the breeze tonight. Moving up fifth on the outside of Conmurra Chief. Followed by Don't Retreat, Trusty Scott is following Paleface Adios. Two lengths away to Soul Command and Pure Steel last. They make their way round with just on one lap completed and Sporting Sun leads them into the straight by two lengths from Stanley Rio. Master Finley third on the inside, Paleface Adios fourth on the outside of Conmurra Chief. Trusty Scott is tracking him all the way. Soul Command content to follow Trusty Scott and there's Pure Pure Steel around them he goes and Jack Ritzlaff sets him alight he goes up towards the leaders but the leader Sporting Sun with two laps to go Stanley Rio and John Noble has a look over his shoulder to see Pure Steel out wide Paleface Adios in between them and keeping him wider Master Finley fifth in the inside followed by trusty Scott Conmar at Chief Soul Command and last in the inside now is Don't Retreat they make their way down the back just over a lap and a half left and Sporting Sun by two lengths the leader moving up Pure Steel to be on his wheel Stanley Rio getting boxed up but still in the trail Paleface Adios the outside and Master Finley the inner two lengths away to Trusty Scott followed by Conmurra Chief then Soul Command and don't retreat the pace of Cracker Sporting Sun leads them round to the straight now and as they make the bend in just on a thousand metres left to run at Sporting Sun by a length and a quarter Stanley Rio Pure Steel out facing the breeze Paleface Adios gets the cover on the outside and Master Finley the inner Conmurra Chief and Trusty Scott followed by Soul Command and Don't Retreat boxed up last. They race past the big crowd now a lap from home. And Sporting Sun by about a length only. Pure Steel, Stanley Rio in a tight spot in the trail. He'll be wanting to get into the clear if he can. Paleface Adios and Master Finley. Trusty Scott seems to be travelling all right but he's about five or six lengths from the leader. Conmurra Chief and he's in a followed by Soul Command and Don't Retreat. The move short start should start to come now. And as they start their way down the back straight. Sporting Sun by by a length and a half, Pure Steel is under pressure, he's not responding, and Stanley Rio hard up and behind Sporting Sun's back, there's Paleface, out he goes, three wide, Master Finley, Trusty Scott, Conmurra Chief, sole command, and last is Don't Retreat, they're inside the 400 metre mark, and Sporting Sun by two lengths now, Sporting Sun, Pure Steel, Paleface, Stanley Rio comes off now to go up on the outside of his wheel, round the bend they come, Sporting Sun in front, Stanley Rio out to challenge the outside, he goes up and heads him off, Master Finley through on the inside, Stanley Rio, Stanley Rio coming down to the post, Stanley Rio's won the Inter Dominion for 1977, Master Finley through on the inside, Sporting Sun third, followed home by Conmar and Chief fourth, Paleface Adios don't retreat, sole command, and trusty Scott and pure steel. John Noble. John Noble, what do you remember about that occasion? You drove Stanley Rio to victory. Well, Philip, uh, the, the most salient point, when we first arrived, we uh, were introduced to Pure Steel. Uh, we saw his rear hanging over the door of his box. And the people said, uh, you yeah, know, do you want to have a look at him? And we said, yes, by all means, we've heard a lot about him. So uh, they said, well, have a good look, because uh, that's the only part of him you're going to see. <laughs> so naturally, we were delighted to have beaten him in the final because uh, we were together virtually all of the race and I think we beat him on his merits. He was a, a very good horse uh, and uh, as a four-year-old won the New Zealand Cup, which would, possibly was one of his great victories. Is that the way you saw it? Well, that was the one uh, I think we all, Wayne and my father and myself, got really more satisfaction out of that because uh, it was a muddling run sort of a thing and uh, he had to prove what a tremendous racehorse he was in that. Uh, whereas the Inter Dominion uh, was a bit of a non-event, he got a trail all the way and uh, there wasn't the same excitement in it. Uh, I think a lot of your viewers might uh, see my left hand working a bit there. I'd like to just assure them that uh, Stanley Rio was a horse that you never hit. You just hit the dust sheet and uh, he responded. What's happened to Stanley Rio since, John? He's gone to the stud, uh, he's had quite a lot of bookings. We hope uh, that he'll make the top sire one day. He's at the stud at home, 
and uh, with his pedigree and the way he could race and with his manners and his ability, well, there's no reason in the world why he won't make a top stud horse. John, you've got a little bit of uh, grit there on your on your clothing, on your face, on <laughs> your... Actually, what about taking that hat off and showing all the uh, southerners that you did get a suntan up here in Auckland? Well, I haven't combed my hairs, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm getting fairly short of them, too. <laughs>